changing. Stay. Move. All right, third graders, you already know about the three states of matter. Solids. Liquids. Gases. You have also learned how liquid takes the shape of its container, but solids will not. I am learning to predict, observe, Record changes in the state of matter. Caused by heating. Or cooling. Whoa, that's cold! So what's important here? Heating and cooling can cause matter to change state. Adding heat means to increase the temperature of matter um, by using any means, such as the warmth of the sun. Feeling hot, hot, hot. A uh, hot plate. Feeling hot, hot, hot. An oven, a stove. Booyah. Um, a furnace, a fireplace. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Or even something simple like putting it in a warmer room. Being hot, hot, hot. The increased heat causes some solids to start to melt and change from solid to liquid. Ice cream and ice cubes change into liquid state or they melt at room temperature. But different substances take different temperatures before they will either melt or freeze. A lot of people think that in order to cool things down, we have to add cold to it, but that's actually not true. In order to cool something down, we have to remove heat from it. So air conditioning is not air with cold added to it, it's air with heat removed from it. And hot air is simply air with heat added to it. So cooling and heating both have to do with heat and not with cooling. simply when matter starts to lose its heat energy. And by the way, heat energy is also called thermal energy. But here's the funny thing. Some matter needs to be at extreme temperatures in order to become solids, such as water. It needs to be put in a freezer or something in order to become ice. Wow, that's cold! Whereas other matter only needs to be at room temperature in order to become a solid, such as a, uh, a candle, the wax in the candle, or chocolate. Heating causes matter to change from solid to liquid to gas. Cooling causes matter to change from gas to liquid to solid. So, what does it mean to change state? If we add enough heat, we can turn solids into liquids. And 
liquids and the gases. But if we take enough heat away from our matter, we can turn like gases into liquids. And liquids into solids. All right, cool. So we know that by either adding enough heat or removing enough heat, we can actually change matter from one state of matter to another. But what's happening inside the matter that allows that to happen? We know that solids, the molecules are tightly packed together. And in liquids, the molecules slide and move against each other. And then the gases are just going crazy, right? So here again is our matter, and right now it's in a solid state. The molecules, uh, they are very tightly packed together. They aren't moving very well. When we start to add that heat to it, it allows those molecules to start to move and act more like a liquid. But then if we start to add even more heat to this liquid, it starts to act more like a gas. I guess the next obvious question then is, what if we take the heat away? As you remove heat from the matter, it starts to pull those molecules back in closer together. And they start to then again take the shape of a liquid. But as you continue to remove that heat even more and more, that liquid will then start to pull the molecules even in tighter, closer and closer together, turning it into a solid. We will be able to predict, observe, and record changes in states of matter. Okay, now we're talking about three very important aspects of the scientific method. The first... Oh, yeah! ...is predict. To predict means to make a guess before something happens. The second... My neck is swollen. Is observed. To observe means to watch something very closely uh, for the purpose of learning something from what you see. And the third. Well, which one is it? To record is to write down or possibly uh, copy using either electronic or video means or something like that. So essentially we are going to be using three important investigation and um, uh, reasoning skills. The first one was predict, which means to guess before it happens. The next one is to observe, which means to pay attention to the details of an object or even an event. Um, and the last one was to record, which is to neatly write down observations or to organize information that you learn um, using recorded means, electronic means, written means, whatever you use. So how do we see this in our everyday lives, right? That's what's important. Um, for me, I like to melt butter on my toast. Um, I like to roast marshmallows over a fire. I like to make grilled cheese sandwiches. So what are some ways you can think of that you use changing states of matter in your everyday life? Most important concept. Matter can only change its physical state when heat is added or removed. 
Heat is the most important aspect of changing states of matter.